So I'm Paul Sweeney, uh, we're doing a feature for Supercar Driver and I'm going to show you my garage or gallery. This is, it's not just a garage, it's, it's a gallery. So I want somewhere where I can enjoy the cars. So in the past, it's you know, just a tight double garage. And when we designed this house, we wanted a, uh, something a bit more than that. So it's a gallery, it's got some special features in it. Uh, it's part of the house, it's underfloor heated, uh, and I can sit and enjoy the cars. That was the, the purpose of it. So the inspiration for the space came from an office that I'd seen in, in Manchester. And they had this funky ceiling. So when we designed the house, I spoke to the designer and said, how can we incorporate this, this design in? And again, because I wanted the, it to be a gallery and not just a, a blank space, I think it's really interesting and it, it bounces off the car. So what I like is the fact that you see the reflection of the ceiling uh, in, in the cars as well, which just gives it a, a unique feel. And people just look and they sort of look at the cars and then they look up and look at the ceiling. It just blows them away. So while we were designing the house, we decided that we want to put a bar in the house as well. Uh, and I've got the gallery of the cars and we had a big debate uh, with the wife about whether we want to see the cars or not. So after a long drawn out process I managed to find this switchable glass that you can flick of a switch, it goes clear and I can see the cars. So she's in here with her mates, she doesn't see the cars. When I'm in here with my mates, we flick the switch and we see the cars. Best of both worlds. Seeing people's faces and see the jaw drop because they're not expecting to come into a house and into a bar and then see supercars just on the other side of the glass. So it's a great moment. It's a great, uh, gets a big smile from everybody. It's got a, a gas inside it. It's like a double glaze with a gas. And when you put an electric current through it, the gases line up so you can see straight through it. And then when you switch it off, all it just goes fuzzy and you can't see a thing through it. So some say that the gym is smaller than the bar. Uh, is there a reason for that? There isn't a reason for that. It's just the fact that it's an entertaining space. And if you ask me which one gets used most, then that's maybe something that I shouldn't answer. So I've got a passion for both bikes and cars. I'd probably say I was a schoolboy motocrosser, so bikes were the first kind of passion. Uh, but once you've been in hospital a few times, you sort of find that four wheels uh, are better. So the bikes are here really as a, as a nod to my past, but really it's, it's four wheels, it's cars where I'm at. So the cars we've got in the gallery, uh, for me, it's about having the right tool for the right job. So the centerpiece really is the mono. So this has got literally every option ticked, uh, right down to, uh, I'll just show you the steering wheel. So what they do when you visit the factory uh, is you grab pieces of plasticine and you, they get your handprint. And then what they do is they 3D print these pieces and then cover them in suede. So when you're on the track, it's really, really comfortable because obviously sort of gripping on. The seat is completely tailored to me. Uh, so a guy comes over and he puts you in a bean bag with resin in it uh, and they do all that and then that goes off and gets all covered in, in waterproof suede. So that's you know, complete to me as well. We've got visible carbon was a, a, an option in there as well. The guys at, at BAC designed me a logo. I wanted like a high tech sort of IT type logo. So they did that for me as well. Uh, it's got carbon wheels on it. It's got carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, so this, it's an absolute flying machine and when I picked it up from the factory, one of the first trips we did was the supercar driver out uh, in Wales, so we went all around Wales in it uh, with a bunch of guys, they were all in like 8, 12 Ferraris and stuff like that and, and Lamborghinis and then when we got to Angles and we did the track day, just blew them all away. There's no way anybody's getting anywhere near you with this, it just flies around, you can brake really, really late. Uh, and two or three corners and you can't even see them anymore. So it's, it's great, I've done Alps trips in it now, it's done four and a half thousand miles, uh, so it's definitely getting the most use, uh, it, it's a keeper. And initially when I went to see the guys, so just to be clear, I'm interested in cars, so I'll come and have a chat with you and, and have a look around your factory, but I'm not buying a single seater. I said I'd rather, I just want two people in it. Um, I did a test drive at Spa, uh, behind Ollie Webb, you know, so trying to keep Ollie Webb and he's all over the curbs and stuff and you're you on, but it's like, it just feels like Lewis Hamilton. And I, I bought it that day, uh, it was done. And one of the things I really like about it is the, the number plate, which in the bar that night, I had a search online and found uh, the number plate, didn't tell the guys at BAC, uh, managed to pick it up for a really good price. So this is centre stage really. We've also got the Ferrari, the 488 spider so that's great for cruising around and just going out for the day uh, getting the roof down enjoying the sunshine it's quick you know it's really really quick i just love the feeling of turbos and then we've got the cruiser so we've got the rolls royce dawn great for long journeys done some amazing camping trips down at goodwood in it so i've been going anywhere that's outside of manchester 
then it's the Rolls Royce. So good variety. There's a few other figs in there as well. We've got the G-Wagon, uh, we've got the daily drivers, we've got the Porsches, um, and I love the bikes as well, so it's nice to have them dotted around. So over the shoulder there, you can see the Foggy Panagali. So that is a 25 year anniversary edition of uh, when Foggy won the World Championship on his, on his 916. Uh, so just out, limited to 500. So that's a, again, it's a great showpiece uh, to have around, around the gallery. The two other bikes, the CCMs, they are a clues competition machine. So that was a guy who started making motocross bikes back in the 70s. So again, being a scrambler back in the day, uh, I really like the idea of bringing these, this sort of retro, these bikes back to you know, current modern day living. So the scrambler I use quite a bit. You know, I take my lad to school on it and stuff like that. The other one's really a showpiece, sits in the bar. I think if I ever took it on the road, then it probably wouldn't be allowed back in the house. So it's staying where it is. So next in the pipeline, there's a few things. We've got an 812 GTS. Uh, there's an SF90 uh, as well on order. Uh, so it's really adding those kind of things, but I think what I really want to do is get to maybe some of the classics, get to some of the child dreams. My first car was a Renault 5 GT Turbo, and I just love that. So if I could find one of those, it was in great condition, that's definitely coming into the garage. 